All right, we know that the three ball will fly in the NBA mm. Finals. Two teams that love to shoot have set playoff game records for threes a couple of times in this, uh, in this playoff run. So, Chris Fedor, give me one thing real quick for each team besides the three-point shot that will help them win a title. I think for the Cavs, it's rebounding. It's got to be rebounding. That's one of the things that Oklahoma City did so well to get up to that 3-1 series lead in the Western Conference Finals. Steven Adams was one of the best players in that series for the first four games. Enos Cantor was getting offensive rebounds. If you look at the first half of Game 7 in Oracle Arena, one of the reasons why the Thunder were leading at halftime is because they were pounding the offensive glass. They were making Golden State pay for going to that small ball lineup. Sometimes you fall into the trap of trying to match down with Golden State and try and beat them that way. Oklahoma City, for the first four games, pounded the Warriors on the glass. Rebounding for the Cavs, I think, is going to be enormous. Michael, give me something. Yeah, there's no question about that. Also, you mentioned the, the way that Golden State plays. I hope you've been paying attention throughout their playoff run. There have been many nights they get very sloppy and haphazard with the basketball mm -hmm. in the half court yep. or when Draymond Green's trying to push it. Can the Cavaliers turn them over enough and be able to take advantage of those moments, that Golden State, because they're going to have them. They're gonna, they've had games of up near 20 turnovers per game in these playoffs. And if the Cavaliers could take advantage of that, get on the glass and run downhill at them and turn those turnovers into points on runouts, it's going to go a long way to Cavalier success. You got something? Drop it in the comments. We want to see it.